So good evening everybody, thank you very much for joining in. Uh, this side Rahul Magan here and today certainly we are going to speak about very very important topic in analytics. As we all understand that analytics is growing very fast. In fact, I hope you have heard that Star India which is a cricket based or a media based company, they invested more than 10 million dollars in, in an analytics firm. Analytics going very fast, analytics is the future. There is no doubt, no doubt about that. And I'm very pleased to share that Treasury Consulting LLP is having a very strong hold in analytics. Very strong hold. And I assure you that by the time December 2017 or oh sorry, December 2016 would turn up, we're going to have extremely strong hold in analytics. We are going to covering all three, which is financial analytics, cash flow anal analytics, and data analytics, wherein we're going to cover at least two descriptive analytics and predictive analytics. Now here in this video, we are going to demonstrate to you a very very beautiful topic which is one of the techniques in analytics, how to mitigate the fraud and how to test the fraud. Now very simple, suppose you have a 70,000 line item data. It seems like uh, very huge, right? Because 70,000 line item data. Now in this 70,000 line item data, I am asking you to let me know whether this data is having a fraud or not. What you do, you will go one by one, one by one, or some people will use the analytical tool like IDEA, SASR, R plus, which we discussed yesterday, right? But I am going to use, I am going to go in a different way. How I am going to do? I am going to use a technique which is known as relative strength factor. And I am going to introduce you to the various types of, of relative strength factor. Now, what relative strength factor stands for? Relative strength factor is nothing but maximum number divided by second maximum number. If it is greater than 10, then there is a fraud. Then there is a fraud. But believe me, my dear friends, this is all bookish. Now, it's not that that if it is greater than 10, then this would always result in a fraud. Because there is a reason behind it. The reason is that, what would happen? Reason is that this 10, which I refer to as X here, is, de is data dependent time dependent and outlier dependent. What is an outlier? Outlier is an extreme data value that distorts a data series. But how many of us exactly understand that outlier is of three types? Which is one is model outlier, one is natural outlier. Take a very simple example. If you go to Tokyo, the earth will, the earth will face, a, you know, you will find lot of uh, quakes in Tokyo every day more than five or seven. This is natural for Tokyo. But if you come to Delhi or any place, if the earth is shivering, then there is a quake which is coming and people will feel frightened. This is natural. If you go to, if you're talking about GBP, then GBP and Euro are having a habit of swinging more than one or two big figures in a day. One big figure stands for 100 basis point. So if today GBP is trading at 1.40, it may swing to 1.39 or it may go to 1.41 as well. This is very natural for GBP. Nothing wrong in it. In Britain exit, it is it down by more than 13 big figures in a day itself. This is natural outlier. One is model outlier. Now this 13 big figure fall for GBP, this was a model outlier because this was based upon a theory of a pre-exit and that did happen. That did happen. That is why Treasury Consulting LLP strongly believes that maximum number divided by second maximum number greater, greater than 10 is not right. Because the reason is, because the reason is that X, that 10, which we referred X here, is a data dependent, is a time dependent, and it's an outlier dependent. So we are never going to take 10. If I am checking the EMI data, equal monthly installment, I'm checking about uh, ATM data, I'm checking, check, checking about uh, account receivable, I am checking about account payables, I am checking about treasury, I am checking about foreign exchange and respective, this X will change. Now, treasury consulting LLP also believe that since we are a data analytics firm and we strongly believe in analytics, they also believe that this number straight up should not be taken on a series. So take a simple example, I am demonstrating here. You have a number 1 to number 70,000. What you are going to do, you will do a simple mathematics, you will take the maximum here and you will take the second maximum here and you will say greater than 10. If it is there, then it's a fraud, else no frauds. But that is not right. That is not right. Because the reason is, here you are taking the complete series. 
we strongly believe that you should use a Bedford law first. I know people who know that analytics must be saying what Benford is all about. Benford is nothing but a tool, sorry, a technique, which will help you in assisting the pattern, the, which will help you in assisting whether there is a fraud or not based upon a pattern of numbers. So Benford is nothing but it will take the first digit, it will take the second digit, it will take the third digit. Take an example, I'm writing few numbers here. I will say 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the first digit? 1. What is the second digit? 2. What is the third digit? 3. What is the fourth digit here? It's, it's here 4. It's here 4. And so on and so forth. So it will compute the pattern of the first, second, third or fourth and then tell you whether there is a fraud. Now there are a lot of people you will find who are using Benford straight away but you will but we always use Benford with smoothing. We will use a smoothing technique and in this we will use exponential smoothing. Now we are only talking here about RSI because Benford video will come later so we don't uh, you know uh, give some much heads up to Benford here. What we are going to do we are going to have a series in which we have 70,000 numbers. We are going to divide 75, 70,000 numbers into 9 parts. Now you are going to say from where 9 parts is coming. Now there would be numbers which are starting with 1, 2, 3, 4 till 9. And what we are going to do, we are going to take RSF digit wise. We are going to take an individual RSF of 1, individual RSF of 2, and individual RSF of 9. It may be possible that 9 would be a digit where RSF would fail. Example, maximum by second maximum, suppose we are treating here 15, it would fail, rest all would pass. So in nutshell, as a data analytics technique, we are requesting you not to use relative strength factor on a whole series because this is going to distort your data. Please don't use on the whole series. Kindly use this only on the two parts on the digit wise using Benford. So you're going to use one, you're going to use two, you're going to use three, you're going to use four, you're going to use nine. And then what you should do, then what you should do, you have to make a conscious call whether you want to go ahead with 10 or you want to go ahead with X. X is again repeating, it is data dependent, it is time dependent and it is outlier dependent. It, there could be various factors in that. So it's a small request from our side that whenever you have a data of 70 to 80,000 line item, 50,000, 60,000 and, and, and XYZ, then you should use the RSF and that to digit wise. Now if you need to understand more about RSF, you need to more understand how to create the Excel templates of RF, RSF, you wanted to understand how to create a Benford template of RSF, Benford templates in Excel or how to use the an, an, analytical tools like IDR. You're welcome to give us a call at Treasury Consulting LLP at the gmail.com or you can write to us at rahulmagan8 at the gmail.com. You're welcome to call us at 9899242978. Now we help you in doing analytics using, using three tools. We help you doing IDEA. We will help you doing SPSS. We help you in doing Minitab. We'll help you doing all the three. And of course, at the end, I would like to stress the fact that frauds are growing. There are a lot of, uh, now the line items are growing. We would request you that kindly use these analytical tools, RSF and Benford. And also, we want to tell you that you're most welcome to subscribe our banking magazine, which is the Maverick Treasurer, wherein, <clears throat> wherein we are covering treasury market, banking, foreign exchange, and derivative. You know our contacts, this and this. At the end, just one line. Frauds are growing, it would continue to grow. Every second day you will find a new kind of fraud. But don't forget, if you are not using an analytics, then you are going to spare day and nights in mitigating, mitigating the effects. Use analytics. And in analytics, we are always here to help you. 9899242978 or Treasury Consulting LLP. Thank you.